Did King Saul of ancient Israel talk with the departed ghost of the prophet Samuel? Did he hear a message from the grave? The Bible says Saul consulted with a witch who communicated with departed spirits of the dead, even though the Bible strictly forbids the practice. God wasn't talking to Saul anymore by prophet or priest because Saul wasn't listening. Rather than repent, Saul decided to go deeper into trouble by asking a witch to bring up a familiar spirit, namely the prophet Samuel. In the interaction, something appeared to the witch. The spiritual being told Saul, you disobeyed God. Tomorrow shall you and your sons be with me, 1 Samuel 28, 19. Saul and his sons died in battle the very next day. Did Saul really speak with the prophet Samuel that night through the witch of Endor? Think about it. If God forbade communing with witches and familiar spirits because of their darkness, why would he or his prophet speak through one now? Especially when he already remained silent on legitimate channels because Saul wasn't listening to God. God will not use darkness nor reward further disobedience. So who was talking to Saul that night? No doubt it was Satan or one of his evil spirits pretending to be Samuel. Satan knew Saul would die in battle the next day because he had forsaken his only protection, that is, God. Spiritism and witchcraft are forbidden by God for our own good. They do not originate from God, but from the dark side. Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 12 say, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. They simply don't go together. Let's seek God and His light by obeying His word today. What do you say? You can subscribe for more. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one.